What's happening everyone? Jayshock last here and check it out. One of the most requested videos that I've had is to do my top 10 worst characters video. In this case, that's what I titled it because that's what everybody expects. But this is actually, I'm going to say, my most disappointing video because I really don't think there are many worst characters in this game. And that's kind of crazy when you think about it. Um, I think I'm actually like stretching really hard uh, to even put together 10 characters on a list uh, as far as quote-unquote worst or quote-unquote most disappointing. Uh, this roster might be a little light uh, compared to LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2, but it's pretty, pretty packed with really solid characters. And if it's not a character that I prefer, at least the characters mostly make sense. You have to understand, some of the characters that you would say are quote-unquote the worst are also characters that kind of have to be there because they make sense. Uh, case in point, Desaad. Desaad to me, bleh, whatever. We had him in the last game, not really like a character I needed to see again, but in the storyline, completely necessary. So I wouldn't put him on that list because it makes sense. Honestly, like it was actually pretty hard to put together this list because I do appreciate a lot of them. So uh, I'm just going to make it hilarious. And uh, we're going to start off with Wally West and not Wally West. Uh, Wallace West. And no, these two characters specifically are not disappointing. But speedsters in general, maybe a little bit. Now, I think speedsters are the most popular style of character in the game at this point. I feel like in every single game... Really? Really? So I know what you're thinking. Why did I leave this here? And why didn't I just start over? And I guess it's actually appropriate to put this in the most disappointing department. There are some crashes in the game. And uh, I know it completely just changed my train of thought uh, mid-video, but I did want to address this. Uh, this is definitely a pain point that has come up in the game. And from what I understand, uh, one of the solutions is going into extras, turning off red bricks. Uh, so if you are stuck in a level and it is crashing on you, try turning off any red bricks that you have. That has helped some, but not all. So yeah, I had a crash and I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that there's a lot of crashes in this game. Uh, but it is definitely disappointing any time that it happens. Now back to speedsters, okay? Uh, speedsters are by and large the most popular characters in these games. Uh, every LEGO game, people are just addicted to the speedsters because they're cool. You like to run around with them, stuff like that. The speedsters in LEGO DC Supervillains do seem like a little bit of a step back. Number one, they cannot run up walls. Now, I understand in some senses why that might be a thing and that's because a lot of these buildings are not structured in a way that you would want to run up a wall these characters run and move so fast that if they were running up some of these walls they would get stuck and it just honestly wouldn't make a lot of sense to have that feature in the game and i guess i'm okay with that all right i just want to address it though because it is something that a lot of people seem like they are very disappointed in me meh it's okay it's a thing whatever I didn't really ever need to run up walls, but it's a cool feature to be able to do. And for that, I understand And you don't want to see characters and gameplay move backwards, and that's what it feels like. Also, the speedsters, as you can see, they speed swim. They don't actually run on water anymore. And I can tell you from Sonic the Hedgehog and LEGO Dimensions, that was an awesome feature of the game. It was really awesome to just speed run right across the water. It felt great, it looked great, and I really kind of wish they at least left that. Uh, they did it, add the advanced swimming where some characters move faster, and I feel like they could have done that anyway, uh, but, you know, it is what it is. None of those two things are going to really, truly affect anything, because quite frankly, why run up a wall when you can fly? And why worry about running on water when there's really nothing to do in the water. So at number 10, the changes to speedsters um, 
just losing those two abilities. So, uh, <laughs> this is where it gets muddy because at number nine, I have Lady Shiva. And I really don't have a good reason for it other than the fact that she's just a regular acrobat. And I don't know anything about the character. It's not a character I knew a lot about. Now, typically, that's something that I would celebrate having new characters that I'm learning about. But in this case, uh, she's just boring. Um, but at the same time, I understand why they might put her in here um, because, you know, representation and whatnot. Uh, that being said, though, uh, I had to put somebody at number nine, and unfortunately, it was Lady Shiva. Um, at number eight, uh, again, I'm stretching here, uh, Detective Chimp. I understand it's an animal character. TT loves their animal characters, and he's not even an awful character. It's just they've already used him before. Now, again, I understand it's a good choice in the fact that that he is now a member of Justice League Dark, and what they did with him is actually kind of cool, you know? <laughs> He's not an awful character at all, but in the grand scheme of things, I would have preferred them try to find another animal-style character that they could have put in the game. Um, maybe, maybe they will with the Young Justice DLC. Maybe they'll put, you know, Connor's, uh, what is it, like a, a wolf? Uh, maybe they'll put that in there, but... I don't know. You guys wanted this video. I had to pick a number eight, and I'm all set with Detective Chimp again in this game. At number seven, uh, not totally a nitpick. I guess it's disappointing just because I would have preferred the Young Justice version of Cheshire. Uh, she was in the last game too and had this style costume. It would have been nice if they were able to use the Young Justice version uh, where she had her mask and her, her outfit was slightly different. Um, I'm not saying that this is the exact version of her from the last game, but if you're gonna reuse, I don't like it when they reuse characters that are this minor and, and just don't make them different enough. And it's, I'm gonna be wishy-washy because I'm gonna complain about another cha a character that was in the last game that they, uh, they changed in this game for the exact opposite reason. But uh, at number seven, would have preferred Young Justice version of Cheshire. At number six, I know this is going to ruffle some feathers, Terra. Uh, again, don't like the design. I don't like the hair piece. Um, she was in the last game. I actually don't think she's a terrible character. I like the fact that she can fly on this rock. Um, I think she was in the last game as DLC, like kind of like that thank you DLC that they put out. Um, the heroines and villainesses pack. I understand her being in here, Teen Titans, Young Justice, all that kind of stuff seem to be a heavy focus of this game, but there's just something, her design, I don't, I don't like her design, I just don't, I mean, and I, I know I'm not alone because when I did the feature video on Terra and how to unlock her and stuff like that, there were a couple other people that were like, uh, why did she look like that? And, I mean, it is what it is, but again, I told you from the start, I'm stretching here. Uh, I don't, I, I just, she's on the list. So, uh, at number five, we're talking about the character I was just kind of alluding to. Uh, we have Doomsday, and I hate this design. I really, like, I understand where it comes from, um, but when it comes to just regurgitating characters, uh, I would have rather them just use Doomsday from the last game all over again with his more traditional look. Um, this is obviously Doomsday, like, being birthed out of a parademon, and whatever, I mean, they've got to do something with it. Um, I could have lived without this design. This might have come straight from DC, this might have been what they wanted. I don't know why they chose this design, but I, I just, personal preference, I don't like this design for, for Doomsday. I wish they had done something else with him, but, uh, it is what it is, and here he is, so, Doomsday. At number four, we have a character that I ranted a little bit on when I posted the video last night. Uh, it's Brainiac. So I feel like we just get Brainiac in every game, and I don't feel I feel like he's devolved. Uh, number one, he doesn't fly. Like I, I didn't mention it in my last video because I wasn't really sure. Like I thought I remembered him flying, but there were comments about it saying, "Hey, why doesn't he fly?" 
And that's a great question. Why doesn't he fly? Um, it, it feels like it's very much the same design. And as I mentioned in the Brainiac video, I think I'm just burned out on him right now. Like, he had no purpose in the story. He was the central figure of the last game. And if they were going to use him again, I just wish they made him, you know, a little bit more different. And I just don't feel like he is. I feel like he's just a character that they were able to kind of throw in there. And he's a popular character. And I mean, I, in a super villains game, I'm, I'm totally, you know, grasping at straws saying he doesn't belong in the game. Because he certainly does. I just, you know, he was... He was the main villain in the last game. He was the main villain of, you know, Injustice 2. And I'm just brainiac out. Unless you can do something substantially different with him, uh, give him just a completely different design. Because uh, I'm sure he's had different variations throughout time. Just let's leave him out of the next game. Uh, so at number four, we have Brainiac. At number three... Um, it's a double-edged sword, because in a way... Alright, Mr. Mitsupikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalikalik